This is a disclaimer. I am not a professional. Just because I have videos on YouTube, it does not mean I know what I'm doing. I'm a typical idiot that happens to have a decent looking lawn. I would not follow my advice and use these methods on your lawn unless you are extremely desperate or you just want to save some money on overpriced products seen elsewhere. Well, how's everybody doing today? I think like two videos ago, I showed a bag of this, Elemental Sulfur. Everybody talks about having the right pH for grass to grow the best, nutrients to be able to be taken up by the grass, all that good stuff. Well, I've got high pH. Elemental sulfur will help lower that. Everybody always talks about getting your pH right. And there's not really many videos out there talking about how to lower it and everybody talks about lime that's how you raise your pH but not really anything on lowering your pH um this is my first time ever applying this so I'm not some old pro and done it 10 times or anything I'm gonna do five pounds per thousand mine will come out just a little bit shy of that I'm gonna do 200 pounds over an acre so that's for 40,000 I'm gonna be treating about 43,000 um, it needs to be irrigated and watered in got no rain coming still the big drought I talk about every damn video but yeah that's uh, what we're gonna be doing in this video if you're gonna do this, make sure you uh, find elemental sulfur. Don't just go buy a fertilizer that has like a high sulfur content. That's not the same thing. This isn't easy to find. Not too many places stock it. That's why I've never done it. I finally found a local place that stocks it and I didn't have to special order it. I have no idea as to what spreader setting I'm going to go with. It's kind of a goofy looking frill. They're not round, they're like little discs. I'll show you that. So that's what they look like. They're, say they're not really a prill. Kind of like a little disc. Listen. Not sure what spreader setting. I'm gonna start out with the same thing that I use for my fertilizer. This is a slightly larger around but flat, so I don't know how it's gonna feed through. I guess we'll find out.
it all spread out. Now we got to water it in. A lot of people like seeing the uh, big sprinkler run. Here's the pump for it. KBG RPR combo is looking pretty good. This doesn't get any irrigation. Of course, I uh, got the sun shining right on it, so you're not going to be able to see anything I'm talking about. You see, all brown, no irrigation. There's the kids' beach. This is where I planted the Barrenbrug. It's 80-20 Kentucky bluegrass to uh, perennial rye. But you can see it's holding color pretty good. There's a lot of excess grass clippings in there. You see that brown, but compared to this old, old grass to that, I'm not complaining. It looks pretty good for no irrigation, minimal inputs. All the way over here by the creek probably looks the best. I don't know if it gets a little bit more shade in the middle of the day, but this right through here all looks pretty decent. So, just wanted to show that. Show uh, the area of the yard that's not so great, that gets minimal care, minimal inputs. If we had some rain, it'd probably look a little bit better. But then, got this section. Something to be proud of. So let's get the drone up. You guys can see the sprinkler and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.